Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here was Smash Brothers World of Light. Let's do the Hal Emmerich one, because that was the one that they showed off. Uh, defeat the main fighter to win. The enemy tends to avoid conflict. The enemy is metal, and there's a robot protecting them. So if we go into our party, because we're going to change some stuff around, I have been playing a little bit more of just the side modes and things like that. So I did get a couple more. Um, I got this one, Mr. Sandman. Did that on Spirit Board. That's an awesome one. It's against DK. Um, he favors his um, neutral special because he punches the shit out of you. And the floor is sleepy. Not... It's in the boxing ring. Not the boxing ring is sleepy, but, but to the sides of that, it's sleepy. And it's a stamina battle, and he has like twice as much stamina as you. So that one was fun. Um, we did that. There's a couple others that we just got from doing other things, like because of the way it's ordered. There's a bunch down down here and stuff. I realized that Zygarde is enhanceable, and I, sh I really want to enhance Zygarde, because enhancing is dope. So if I go to here and feed you, how many snacks do I have? I, I have quite a few snacks, so I can go... Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. So level 73, you're pretty close. I did get, um, where is she? I don't even know where she is at this point. She's probably low level because I didn't up level up past that. Hmm. Where are you? Where's... There you are! Tsubasa Orohime, I got her as a spirit, and she's the enhanceable one. That's this is one of the ones that they showed off. So now she's in her carnage form. Yay, Tokyo Game Rise Sessions. Game that I stopped helping because it was a pain in the ass. Um, and haven't really touched since, even though I want to. Because I actually enjoyed the combat for that. It's like, it's own as combat, but good! What? Um, is this shield's gonna work against this fight? Or are you also... You're, you know, shield will work, but it's still significantly higher. Ah, it's fine. Toss and Meteor, always good. So I've noticed that adding on people here does increase the team power. So even if you're not fighting assist trophies, you can add that on and just add more power to it. Um, like I can go 3-6 here, I can put you on it, it's 3-7. I mean, slightly, but not that much. Okay, so we are a lot weaker, but Zygarde 50%. I want to level up Zygarde. Let's use the Lucas. Let's go! So do I have to kill the Rob as well? This is one of the ones that they showed off. Because Metal Gear. <laughs> Ready? Do I have to go. kill Rob as well, or do I just have to kill... You. Ow. Whoop. Damn it. Damn it, Metal Gear! I'll get this reference eventually. Urgh. Nice. You did a lot of lasers and I was like, I think a laser. Ah! Run away. Uh, uh, there you go. Ow, 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 ow. One of you needs to die. Okay, you, okay. Yes, Rob needs to die. That's the one we should. We should be focusing on attacking Rob and killing Rob first. Can I hit your laser back with the bat? Fuck now. <laughs> okay. 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 I can do this. I can do this with the hindrance I've given myself. It's fine. Probably not, but it's fine. Probably not, but it's fine. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to Ready? get up to like 150 damage to actually hit the line, aren't I? Hey. Good God, that did. Uh, that did so much damage alone. Although your laser did. Your failed laser did like 20, so. Damn it, damn it! Okay, okay. I'm bad at the recovery for this. You know what? Maybe I should be someone else. Maybe I should be someone else. I don't know who else. My best bet here is always Lucas, but. Hmm. Fuck it, Pac Man. Pac Man, let's go. I mean, I can just say fuck it and put on something that's on Zygarde if, it, if, it's get, if, it get, if it's too difficult, I can just do that. But I want to do it. I want to get Zygarde a bunch of experience and get a big reward for giving myself. Fucking... The fact that there's a dash attack where they can attack the projectile away to stop from doing a dash attack is incredibly bizarre. Oh my god! Fuck off. Like, stop it hurting me for a second. Good god! Fuck off! Get out of here. Holy shit. Dude, 
just you need to not be here. Metal Gear, go away! Ah, fuck! God damn it. Okay, I think I'm too weak for this. I Sorry, Zygarde. You're shit. I am like 1,000 lower. Alright, okay. Time to be a coward. What do we got? What are we at? 4,500? Why is it not telling me the. There, there. Power descending. Go by that. See, and then it shows you the power on this screen. That's what we want. Thank you. Um, I have that. Which puts me at a big type advantage. I'm okay with that. This Rob's an asshole. I'm gonna kill him. Ready? Go! Bam! I should probably stop trying to make the power pellet attack go as far and focus more on doing short attacks to get the power pellet to make that attack do more damage. Ow. Fuck off! So yes, yeah, do that. There you go. You just don't give a shit about my attacks, do you, Rob? Do I have to kill Rob or do I have to kill Mario? Or do I have to kill both? I mean, no, I have to kill Mario, but do I have to kill both or can I get oh, oh, can I get away with just killing Mario? All right, well, time to cheat the scales. Bomb. Oh my god, fucking die. Yay! You don't have to. You don't have to kill Rob. Okay. Okay. Hey, Hal, Ma Hal Emmerich, start with a laser beam. And got a little bit from that. So, okay. Trying to kill Rob was a mistake, is what I'm learning here. Still would have been difficult with the other one. Oh! Oh! Nice! Alright, okay. Time to backtrack to all the way down there, if I can remember how to get there. Okay. Um, I don't have a simple way of getting there other than going all the way back, do I? No, because I have to go past all of this. Okay. Okay. I forget. No, that goes somewhere we can't even worry about. Okay. Was this the one that was... Mario from Tennis Aces. I didn't even attempt that one. And... Oh, Sorin! Actually, let me clear Sorin out, because this will open a pathway here. Any favor special moves, all fighters, magic, and side attacks have increased powers. Okay. An incredibly weak one. So... Fuck it. You can be enhanced as well, so we're gonna go for you. Boom! That's up. It won't be. I'm gonna have my shit handed to me once again. Yeah, and you can just make them powerful and just Ready? fuck them up, but... Go! Oh, okay. Really gotta pay attention to whether they're set characters or not. Magic and Psy power unleashed! Yeah! It's these two... It's when there's more than one that I just... I can't concentrate on both at once. BAM! Love the power belt move. Yeah. Get at it, ow. What has happened? I know it, okay, okay, okay. This immediately started going wrong at some point. From the start, probably. Urgh! Ow! Ow! I should be aware that I'm not as good as I think I am, and trying to make it as hard for myself as I am is not going to go well. But I feel if I just stomp all of them, it's not as interesting. Go! Yeah. You get kicked on too. Go away. Fuck off. You fuck off too. There was an item there. I don't know what it was, but I thought I grabbed it, but I didn't. Bam! Ow! You're almost out of arc fire. At least, so. Urgh. Bam! Oh, the power pellet's great. Love the power pellet. Love that. Love the down air too. Not even great at like launching or anything, but just a fucking effective move. <laughs> uh, all the fucking key. 
the K. Magic attack powers. Useful if I have um Lucas. But now I've gone back to Pac-Man. Cause I like my characters that I like. What can I say? Again, yeah, like Pac-Man's not a character that I'm super great with. I just find him a really fun character to use. I'm gonna get better with a lot more of his airs that I use, but oh well. Oh there are there's this entire fucking forest to go to go through too. There's no way to warp around the map, is there, other than the predetermined warp points. Alright, what's in here? What what hell awaits us in here? Although I believe there is a character here. There's this swirly vortex and then there's the evil vortex thing. And it's totally totally a character as well. Okay. Well I'm gonna grab this. Ray Mark 2! I'm gonna be enhanced. Probably to Ray Mark 3. Sigma! You can just call him Buzz Lightyear, it's fine. That enemy's melee power has it, um, weapons have increased power. Oh, you're a level 3. Okay, okay. I actually need to put on something that matters for this one. Um. Still. Fuck it. Type equaled there, but it's fine. Toss and Meteor and. Um. Ah, fuck it, the running fast one. Dash, dash. Well, we're now technically more powerful. Alright, let's go for it. Oh my goodness. Let's go, Nightmare. You're almost level 99 as well. You won't be enhanced again, but I get life steal on here, and I'm happy with that. X versus zero. Didn't realize X and zero were in similar games, but okay. Is is zero a thing from Mega Man X? Is is X the name of the Mega Man in that game? I don't know anything about this. Oh oh oh! Fuck! This is stamina. Fuck! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! I gotta be paying attention. To actually, not getting hit. Four tilt! Ow. Oh, you got a, you got a laser beam too. BAM! Oh fuck! <laughs> Damn it! The enemy didn't just walk into my smash attack! Damn! <laughs> That's just not cool. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Pardon me. Ready? Go! It's another one where they start with water. Ow. 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 Oh my god! Good god, I'm getting absolutely comboed here. Fuck off! Didn't even mention you're annoying as shit. But now I know what what it's like for the enemies to fight against me here. God damn it! God damn! Okay, okay. I'm gonna need to use Lucas for this, maybe. Actually, Moth would be good if I can just counter the shit out of your attacks. You just spam the sword over and over again, so time for me to spam counter. Good god. You can't just charge smash attacks the entire thing. That's not cool. Damn it, Sid. Ready? Go! I know one of those Mega Man things has a laser sword. That's it, does it even matter that I have a counter if the counter doesn't even reach? Fucking uh approaching that is like annoying as shit. I have a gun and you can still out around me. You need to not have the beam sword. Urgh! Come on, go on. 
fucking shit. Seriously? Oh, co oh come on. Oh, <laughs> oh fucking god damn it. Ah. Oh, you're a prick, Ganondorf. Sigma. Jesus. Oh my god. God damn. Okay. Okay. Ready? It's fine. Go! It's going absolutely amazing. Oh, the burger got me. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm sometimes failing the inputs that I'm clearly intending? Fuck off! Oh my god! Oh, your oh your sword is so fucking huge. I feel like I need to equip a beam sword myself just to be able to have the fucking range that this fucker has. Urgh. Fuck me, this one's going way worse. Why, why would I use an upper cover in this? It is bullshit they have to contend with the final smash of this too. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Fuck you! Oh! That's what you get! You did enough damage to me for me to get that and I didn't get the... Oh my god, thank you. Oh, you, you did enough damage for me to get my final smash and not enough to kill me. And that was your biggest mistake. Good god. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn. This is the first day. Oh, uh, sorry. Like, this is the first day after the first day. So it's the second day. As some would just say instead. Yo, Mega Man. Um, and I'm clearly rusty since yesterday. I also woke up maybe, like, five minutes before I started recording this. So, you know, that might have a factor in it as well. Um, 7,500. I've really only got this that's close by, and I don't have the advantage. Ah, fuck it. So yeah, with the other things I put on, I'll, have a hu I'll actually get a huge advantage on So fuck it, leave you on there. And let's also go for... Do I toss a Meteor? I do have toss a Meteor. Impact run. Let's go. Who shall I use? We've got Mega Man, right? Hmm. I don't think we've tried Wii Fit Trainer on, on here, so let, let's go for this. What colors do you have? Red shirt, red, red shirt, let's go. Because we're being sent to our deaths, because I'm bad at this. <laughs> Alright, getting another character, let's do this. Da, 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 da. This is an exciting remix, I like it. Ready? Down and down and down. Right, why did I try and charge projectile in a fucking Mega Man match? I know very, very little of actual. Of um move sets for Wii Fit Trainer. I forget how deep breathing works entirely. Like another thing where it's like you do it more, like, more powerful, and I just do not remember at all how it works. Boom! Mega Man has a bomb that can just put onto you to just stay there? Jeez. Alright. Well, eat shit, Mega Man. I mean the crap out of you. And I got a bunch of skills here from you. Yeah! So what is this swirling vortex of evil that we've got on the other side of this? Hey! Mega Man freed. Yeah, so what's the swirling vortex of evil? Into a secret base. Primids! Primids, nice. It's a game and watch. Makes sense. Oh, it's the stadium! And it's a team of them! It's like the beginning of subspace! <laughs> uh, oh, subspace emissary. 
I like how that, like, they're willing to just be like, nah, fuck it, we'll call back to Subspace Emissary. You enjoyed playing that, so fuck it, we'll call back to it right now. What was the other one I was upgrading here that was... There, there you are. Bottle X, let's go. That's, that's, that's cool. I like this. I like it, it's Game & Watch because of the whole bugs thing. Ready? That's a weird thing. Go! Game & Watch is 2D, so he's able to, like, create matter infinitely because he's not made of matter or something. I don't know. That was a, that was a weird story beat in subspace. Urgh. Bad at aiming is this friggin' kickball that I'm doing. Ah! Did you spawn in doing the key attack? It's my attack! I like the down airs that like shoot down fast. Don't steal my attack. Yeah, gotcha. I like how I can actually just damage people by tackling into them. <laughs> there you go, tree pose. Yeah. Primid, gotcha. So like, getting novice ones like this, it just helps for these other situations to do it, make it a little bit harder so I can get more rewards from it. <laughs> like I'm not gonna upgrade all of them that I know. I'm not even gonna upgrade them. Like even attempt to properly try and upgrade them. Okay, so two into oh, this is a pathway. This is totally where Gallium is. One. Hey, It's totally within the Galliums in in that trailer. So, there's a lot of inside areas, so how big it is on the map is not indicative of, like, how much is actually gonna be, because it's all of this shit. Alright. Revolver Ocelot's there, okay. What, what else have we got down here? I feel like this is a huge fucking area. Hey, free treasure chest! I'll take it. 20 skill spheres, holy shit. Dr. Wily, oh god, 12,000. With Look how many Mega Mans there are! Eight, eight Robot Masters, of course. Oh god, that one's gonna be an absolute nightmare. Porygon, that goes over to three, well let's activate twos first. Which is over here, was it for you two? You were four, all right, okay. Go over this way instead, activate two over this way. There's two. This terminal's gigantic. Why is this terminal so gigantic? Oh. What? Hey, well, I activated that to turn off. Okay. And I caused the spirit to appear somewhere. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I just did that. So it was just like, guess the right one. Rob64, nice. Nice. And it's Rob and yeah, the other two are here. Reinforcements all of here. Okay. Up, up, up. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. We got 3,300. So, oh, perfect time for the Rob, uh, for the Zygarde train. I, li I love Zygarde. And Clear Form Zygarde is over the top of shit. Not necessarily an amazing design, but cool. Oh, it's, it's HP. Sometimes HP is good, because it means I don't have to worry about killing them, but sometimes HP is bad, because, well, I'm not going to do damage. Oh, they've only got 50. Okay. You need to not be doing what you're doing right now. Actually, you need to die, too. Rob, go away. Oh, I didn't even need to kill the other two. So I guess what, like, is... I, I'm sometimes confused about like how to specifically tell whether it you need to kill them or not. But the side ones, does reinforcements means you mean you don't need to? Is that what that refers to? All right, what does this one activate? One on over there? Yep. <laughs> well, hey, at least we can fight all of them. Nine volt and eighteen volt. God, you fucked up. That's level three one. Incineroar and Villager. <laughs> nice. Hostile. Uh, Strangers will appear. Enemies easily distracted by items. Do I have a super powerful Gravy, gravy Boy? I have Mallow. I have Mallow. But it's not quite enough to be a higher level than you. Alright, we're a little bit lower. Alright, let's go. Actually, it's Incineroar. That isn't a tiny little one that's just running on a lava floor. I'm so excited to play as Incineroar. Incineroar looks amazing. There's a character. The whole wrestling gimmick, I love it. Oh! The Gunman, of course. Fuck off, Galaga. Good god, that one's a... 
I need to think that does extra damage to the assist trophies, don't I? Whoa! God damn it! Assist trophies! Assist trophies! Actually, I'm pretty sure the thing that does extra damage to assist trophies is the thing that I'm... Yeah, it is this one. Okay. Okay. Ones where this assi assisted by assist trophies? Fuck, some of those are dangerous as hell. Can I even kill this one? If I kill it, does it still respawn? This is the most infuriating shit in the world. Good god! Fuck off! You just can't do anything! <laughs> there are some of these matches that are just more annoying than anything because of the what how they fight you. Like it's just annoying to have that fucker just. Fl Go! Come on! The match literally just started and you shot me. That's bullshit. Oh fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you! How is this fair? <laughs> Eat shit! Fuck off! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this bullshit? Fuck off. You prick. I can't even fight, focus on fighting the fucking characters. Because I'm just getting shot at perfectly. The fucking thing should be. It, it has perfect aim. It just doesn't fucking stop it. Go away. Oh, I hate you so much! This is stupid! This is fucking dumb! This is not fun! Fuck you, buddy! Good god! Good fucking god! Are you kidding me with this bullshit? It just don't- Like, it is so- Perfectly aiming at you, and it shoots at you like instantly. Good God! How are you meant to dodge that? I killed it, and then I was off stage, and I had to do Luke's recovery. Fuck me! This one's this one's bad. This one's bad. <laughs> Like, bad as in, I think it's a genuinely bad one. The Ready? the fact that it can shoot you just so perfectly and consistently is just a nightmare. God damn it, Gallagher! Oh god, this one is just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, how can we make this even better than just something that can shoot you perfectly constantly? That can just walk wherever the fuck it wants, it doesn't even need to stay on the ground. Oh, I know, how about the thing that kills you, like, by just grabbing you? It just starts by attacking you. Race for the main It's amazing how this is actually reasonable now once that thing's dead. Fuck off. Okay, crap by it, villager. Come on, nine volt! There we go! Good god! Oh, that. Like, you're just fighting the assist trophy at that point. Holy shit! Hey! Max on Mallow. Fuck that! Holy shit! 
Well, at least I know that I can do that for the sucker pond one. If you attack it, it doesn't come back. Parasite Queen, nice. Enemy has increased, it's on here, of course it is. Enemy has increased attack power, enemy shields often, enemy is giant. And it's just really. Okay, um. No, that's the bad matchup. This is the good matchup. I can use you. Assist killer, just to increase my power as much as I can, and these ones. All right, let's go. Is this HP battle? I missed where it said that or not. No. Shield, giant attack, power up. This is just them calling out, oh, by the way, Metroid, your, all your character designs look the same. <laughs> That's all this is doing. <laughs> or your enemy designs look the same. Ridley really needed to increase attack power. Doesn't one of his attacks do 50%? Uh. Bam. Oh, and of course, shielding often because the shield goes around that, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I get it. Ow! Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Kill it quickly, because it gets more powerful as time goes on. Does it increase in power multiple times, or is it just that once after that first increase? I know, I don't know why I'm trying to play an aerial game against Ridley. Ah! <laughs> Get shield broken. Nice. Screen flip immunity. <laughs> Has nothing to do with the spirit itself, just specifically the stage that it's on. <laughs> uh, the way they tie some of these together is entertaining as hell. Alright, well that was number two, right? Which also opened up the path down here. Which that just goes to that three, four, and five thing there. Then over here is another three switch. We've got to defeat Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot for that, right? I saw someone edit the picture of Revolver Ocelot here, where it's just every single bit of text on the screen is replaced with Revolver Ocelot. So it just says Revolver Ocelot at the top, then Revolver Ocelot, and just says that everywhere. Again, I'll get these Metal Gear references once I get to that game series. I oh, Zap Floors? Perfect. I finally, I actually just recently got something for that, so thank you. Um, here, you'll be a good type of advantage. Uh, Nine Ball, where are you? No, you're not there. There you are. Bam! Zap floor immunity. Oh, that uses everything I've got. Almost caught up in attack power, though. What else did you do? Oh, increased range power. You're just gonna shoot me a lot. I'm gonna assume this is a boss fight, then. Like, I'm, I'm assuming Revolver Ocelot just shooting the crap out of you with left side floor as a thing. Yeah, shoot me with guns. Why I'm Lucas. Let's see if I'm good with Lucas. Oh, the Steel Diver. Damn, you made me drop my stuff. And the other stuff disappeared too. Oh, Shaku. Get it, cause fucked. Uh, no, uh, fuck you. Ah, fucking Steel Diver. No, my stuff. My Shaku! Perfect time! <laughs> uh, get fucked by the super scope. Can be enhanced. Probably a spoiler for Metal Gear. I'm amazed at how much Metal Gear there is in these spirits. I mean, I guess Metal Gear is a game of like 20 games or whatever. So it has a lot to pull from. Oh, it's number four. Oh, I totally even just, I did them in the wrong order. I didn't even remember the other one was. Alright, okay. I can deal with that. Okay. End of this is totally Galleon, isn't it? So up here will be yeah, a bunch before we get to that door that says three. Alright, four are gone. Alright, um. Hostile. Hostile Pokemon. Okay, got it. Um. Hmm. 
1,700. Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot. Yeah. Don't need Zap floor, so just put on Assist Killer. Who is that Hostile Assist Trophies? That being said, is this Hostile Assist Trophies, is it just going to be Pokemon then? I love how it's Wireframe Little Mac. Ready? Go! Like, is that Hostile Assist Trophies, but is it just... Akira! Not at all what I was expecting, but okay. Porygon's a Pokemon in this. So, I'm surprised it's not that, but okay. Fucking whoops. <laughs> I did that at the wrong angle. <laughs> Whoopsies. Alright, Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not just Pokeballs. Porygon appears out of them. Unless Porygon's not one of these. Also, I think it was Porygon 2 the one I'm thinking of. Get out of here! Get out of here, Kira! Go away! I still think it's amazing that they put VF1 Akira in here, and he looks oh, like he's so spot on and perfect. I love it. Oh, I died there. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what attacked me and killed me there, but it's another one with hostile assist trophies. Does Akira, do Akira and Porygon have anything to do in common with each other? I mean, wireframe, I get. Unless, I, I guess it's just because he's polygonal. Because he's, cause he's got a lot of, like, he's highly polygonal. I guess, I... Damn it, I thought Akira killed himself, but then, right, it's just right, he's kind of died by flying off the edge of the stage. This is so annoying as shit. Because his trophies just don't play by the same rules. Die, Akira. Hey, Little Matt killed himself at some point. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Bam. More gone. Couple skills things. Nice. Okay, well, for the moment, I'm going to end this. I'm going to continue further. But, Blake, the video length is still going quite a fair bit. What do you mean you're stopping now? How's the video this long? I figured the video would be this long because you'd be finishing this area. Well, that is the case. But it is not the case. Something else has to happen instead. Hey, 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 Little Mac. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we fight new challenges after pretty much every little thing that we do. Hey, Little Mac. A character I really enjoy playing as and I'm incredibly bad at because it's hard to be good at Little Mac because he just dies instantly all the time. Should we not kill this Little Mac now? After just killing one with a hero. That being said, we're on, like, we're on a stage where Little Mac can't just jump off the stage and kill himself, so, you know. Don't you dare. Damn it. Bruiser from the Bronx. <laughs> Boy from nowhere. I think. You lost your KO punch at some point. Didn't even notice that. Ah. Until you were charging over attack. Little Mac! Hey, I'll get back to your game at some point. Added 100 or more spirits to the list. We're almost 10% of the way there. Something important does have to happen at the end of this video, though. Let's go into classic mode. Because. K Rule! Woo! I unlocked K Rule last night, and I also unlocked Simon. So stay tuned for the end of the next episode, where I play as Simon. Um, to do classic mode. But at the end of this one, King fucking K fucking rule. Cause hell yeah, I love King K rule. This has been my dream character. This is the character I've wanted in this game since fucking Melee. I mean, I'd like overall I'd prefer Wonder Red. Because now, yeah. well I've only wanted Wonder Red since the last one and since the ballot was a thing. Because I didn't think he would ever have a chance. But I thought King K rule had a chance for ages. And then less of a chance as time went on. And now he's here! And like, his moveset for his specials is exactly what I predicted except for the down counter. The blunderboss, the jetpack, the crown throw. It's all three of his games and he's got the boxing gloves from 64. He's perfect and I love him and I'm so excited to play as him. He's got a shitload of super armor. So I'm interested to see what he does there. Super heavyweight class. It's even a boxing thing there. Also, I just noticed Mario and Inkling have got the little badges on them to let you know you finished their classic one. That's nice. K King K rule. Let's fucking do this. This is how we end this video. And again, stay tuned for the end of the next one where we're going to do classic mode with Simon. Because, hell yeah, Simon. All right, we're going to start at 2.5. I've noticed there is there's some weird loading things. Like, you, I, if you roll back, while I was increasing 2.5, the numbers were flickering. And you have times when you change the colors, your color outfit, 
where the character mode just disappears while it loads in the other colors to start Ready? with. Oh, so we're just fighting all the heavy fucking characters. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he, he is a slow, beefy boy. Damn it. Couldn't absorb you on that. Bam! And then you just shoot off at an angle. Urgh! Yeah, that shack is satisfying as hell. Urgh! Oh, God, it's so fucking beefy. Get fucked by that. Oh, my God. This is a beefy fucking character. He is... He is lumbering as hell to move around. Like, I was expecting DDD. He's like, no, he's way slower than DDD is. <laughs> Which makes sense. He's way fucking... He's bigger than DDD is. Come over here. Bonk! <laughs> Krantos! The fact that enemies can steal your crown as much as they can. Okay, so yeah, my belly's now cracked a little bit. So he has super armor on a lot of his moves, but he has a limited amount of super armor. And if you like, if you get hit and the super armor is about to like end, then it just breaks and you get stunned, which is nice. Like it's such a very different mechanic to any other character. Super armor, but eventually that super armor breaks. But he gets super armor on a lot of his attacks for it. There it is. Ready? King of Dreamland versus King of Kremlins. Let's fucking do this. Oh my god. Problem my two veins right here. Like the thing is, even if I'm not, um, even if I'm not gonna be amazing with K rule, I'm probably still gonna main or second main him because it's fucking K rule. Bam! Beast ball. So you throw it at someone and it hits them and then bounces off. Self-made king and the Kremlin commander. Boom! Okay, Beast Ball's great. Oh my god. Like, I lo like I love playing as King DDD. Again, he was my main- he's been my main since Brawl. I'm also pretty good with him. I'm not- he's not my best character, because my best character was Wolf, but... Ugh. Okay, his jab's pretty good, sir. Oh. Damn it. I tried. I tried. I tried. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I gotta try his grab at one point. Because I did say something about one of his grabs. One of his throws. Grab away from this. Ow! Fuck you. Damn it, Ridley! Whee! <laughs> Heavy character with an incredible recovery. That's just, that's just my type, because that's just DDD too. How am I fucking this up? There we go! <laughs> uh, so the belly does heal. It doesn't have to break before you can reuse the super armor. Over time, his belly does heal. Dude, I'm all, I'm immediately loving this character. The amount of power behind all of his attacks is astounding Ready? and incredible. Climbing again and battle. Do you so much? Bam! <laughs> oh, that worked exactly how I hoped. Awesome. Uh, I've seen, I've seen if you have people do high enough damage, if you hit them with the cannonball and then suck it back in and then fire back out, it basically goes in the perfect line to hit them. Crocodile, And also it's this. We're just doing the end of 64 now. Oh, it's this track. That's what Crocodile Kanakini is. It's the boss fight music from DKC2. Is it the boss fight one? Or is it the... One's in, like, Toxic Tower. Now I'm not even sure. <laughs> Heard it for a little bit, now I'm not even sure. Also, like, on his sprite, how, like, one side of his green goes up higher than the other because of the whole, um, I thing. I love K. Rool, by the way. I love that he's a villain and, he, like, his whole deal is just, I'm fucking psychotic as hell. Like, I love that jet that's just his entire gimmick. It's just, yeah, I'm fucking nuts. <laughs> I might not break it. Damn it. 
Getting that one's hard, but especially with beefy characters like this. Oh, wow, his jump is not great. <laughs> like, oh man. So his normal jumps are not great, but his up recovery is fantastic. With Diddy's jumps, okay, Diddy's individual jumps aren't great, but you have five of them, which also means that you can chain together amazing mid-air combos with him. Galliom, here we go. The boss fight that I would have done if I actually finished this video the other way. So, hey, the boss fight still ends with Galliom. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna get hit by all your attacks, aren't I? Urgh! Damn it! I'm the barrier! Damn it. Is there anything I'm not gonna get hit by of yours? BAM! Big punch. Ugh. I know it is about the bosses in this, but they feel way harder than they never did in some space. Die, please! There we go! Eat you, Galil. Okay, I really enjoy this character. I really enjoy this character. He has so much fucking force behind so many of his moves and just having superpower. It's basically beast off from Yakuza, which I can certainly fucking dig. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we got to seven! We got to seven! Nice! Yay! We got to seven. That's awesome. Okay. And there's Snake. Is that the highest that we've got with any of the characters? I don't think I got to seven with the others. I think I got to high six, but I don't think I got to seven. Oh my god. This is probably one of the best versions of fucking Gangplank Galleon that has ever been made. It's so good. Oh, it's so fucking good. Ready? <laughs> Music's not loud enough. Da -da, da -da. Hearing this music play during his like intro thing was just the most triumphant fucking thing in the world. Well, that's what it is. It's a very triumphant version of this. Oh, I thought this is the vocals are gonna kick in. Yo, so yeah, like more than anything in this video. Holy shit, King K. Rool's actually in fucking Smash Brothers. That is nice. I mean, we're at the point now where, as of yesterday, Joker's in fucking Smash, so anyone can be. But, uh, again, this is the character I have wanted since Melee. My first Smash. Where I'm just like, oh, if I could have any character, I fucking love King K. Rool. And, it, like, and at the time I was just like, oh, he could be, like, Captain K. Rool, maybe. And then, like, as time went on later, I'm just like, actually, you know, play DKC3, because I was really late to the party on DKC3. I'm just like, oh my god, that. And then, like, play Brawl a bit, and it's just like, oh no, each of his specials can totally be from one of his games. Because you can totally have the crown throw, the blunderbuss, the helicopter is the perfect recovery for him. And my thought of what his down special would be, would be during the boss fight of him in DKC4, he has a ground pound that sends out shockwaves, and that's what I was expecting it to be. Another heavy character that slams into the ground like Bowser, or well, Yoshi yeah, does, where the actual ground pound itself doesn't do as much damage as the others, but it has a really wide AOE by this big explosion. They went with the belly counter instead, because every character has got to have counters. It's not the most inspired thing, so it's a bit eh. But I like that his belly is like the proper gold belly that he had. Like his original design was, I have a gold belly. Whereas his later design was like, after 6 4 and everything, it was just more crocodile underbelly flesh. It's like, no, he tied, he put a plate of gold armor onto his fucking body. And the, like his super armor and his down special do make allusions to that. Oh, also, there's a video going around online. If you have King K rule, and um, Mewtwo fully charges up his neutral special. If you stand right next to him and then counter um, hit, um, Mewtwo's Shadow Ball, it bounces the Shadow Ball back and the stomach hits, and it can kill at zero. Da oh my god. King K. Rool is actually in this fucking game, and this is amazing. King K. Rool, they used the picture of him with the, the belly. That's what I mean. That picture right there is not a gold belly. 
the picture they use for his fighter spirit is not even one of him with a gold belly. Like that this is this is King K Rule's new shit design that Nintendo gave him outside of um what Rareware did. Cause he's got smooth skin now, like you can kinda see some scale things, but not really. Where look at this picture on him on the left, and he's got actual fucking proper scales. And he's got this just weird like skin colored belly other than the plate of gold armor that it actually is. Also Vivian, yay. Mad Forest, more Castlevania music. I've just been trying to buy all the music. I just go into the shop every now and then just be like, is there new music? I'm gonna get the new music. Is that Meta Knight? With a big cape? I think it is. Hey, Meta Knight! Meta Knight's also an amazing addition because he actually has um, Shadow Meta, I think it's is it Shadow Meta Knight or Evil Meta Knight or Mirror Meta Knight or something and Galaxia Knight variants. And not even just in the color, but it actually changes the style of his mask. Like if you go Galaxia Knight, um, Galaxia Knight, um, Meta Knight, he actually gets like the one mark across the one eye. Like, that's fucking dope. Meta Knight joins the battle. Hell yeah. He's called Meta Knight because he breaks the meta, get it? Uh, oh my god. King K. Rule is fucking in this game, and I am so goddamn excited. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit, K. Rule! Yes, alright. Well, with that, we shall end this episode. On the next episode, we're gonna try and clear out that facility that we were in for Lord of Light. Um, and end the next episode is Simon Belmont. Because Simon's another new character. And really interested to see how he plays. Again, he's a character where three of four of his specials are projectiles for a character that has the largest, new, like the longest neutral game ever. And it's just like, like he is a character where his whole thing is just zoning and spacing things that I'm very bad at. So I probably won't be good with him. But very excited, very excited to play. I love Castlevania One. I'm the only Castlevania games I've played are Castlevania 1 and Circle of the Moon. And I've seen bits and pieces of Symphony and I watched LP of Aria, oh, sorry. So, it's good that the Simon that we've got is the Simon that I know. Because it's 1, <laughs> like just Castlevania 1 second so that's great. So, and the next episode will be that and then World of Light at the beginning of it, of course. So, until then, this is version 2, signing out.